e-commerce advertisers, your top of the funnel audiences or your cold audiences are the lifeblood for your business, for your e-commerce store. So how can we actually sell more to them? Greetings everyone, my name is Victor Stuhl and I am the founder of Markademix, an international digital advertising agency that specializes in e-commerce advertising. That's the only thing that we do. In this video, I am going to walk you through what do I do when I'm taking on a new client with my team and we're trying to solve our top of funnel issues, where they're coming from and how can we actually solve them. First of all, what's a real top of funnel audience? That's something that I'm seeing as a huge mistake. So by definition, a top of funnel cold audiences are only people who have never engaged with your content on social media or have never been to the website, haven't purchased from you. And the way that you're actually separating those people is by excluding the people who've already purchased or your email list, the people who've visited your website in the past 180 days based on your pixel, the people who have engaged with your social media accounts in the past either 180 days or even 365 days. Why? Because we want to have perfectly cold audience. If you're not excluding those people, then Facebook will be specifically targeting the people who have engaged or have been to the website or have purchased. And if they buy again from you, you cannot make any assumptions into why your ads were good or not, because maybe people who have already known you have purchased from them. So you're not solving your top of funnel issue. So when we're going into a new account and we're seeing um, their, the funnel that they've used so far, if there was a funnel in the first place, the first thing to notice is the way that it was structured. We're looking into this. I'm not saying that the only way for you to be targeting with your ads is to use a perfectly cold funnel. Yet, if you are not doing this, you really have no idea how to actually sell to your uh, cold people. And the way to look into this is the following. It's not about whether your product is good. It's not about whether your brand is known because for those people, you're still nobody. You're just one of the many people that's advertising to them. What you need to make sure is that you have to gain the trust of those people in a very short amount of time in order for them to buy or a specific percentage of them to buy immediately. And how you can actually deliver this in a manner of ads and in a manner of your website. If you look into your ads, you need to make sure that you have a proper introduction and a proper scroll stopper in the beginning. When you're going to, into your audiences that are completely cold, they need to trust you. But before they trust you, they need to even stop on your ads. So you need a proper scroll stopper. You need to have a proper introduction into your brand and what issue you're solving. No marketing technique will ever substitute that you are having a problem and you're solving that problem in a specific way. So if you're having problem solving ads in a certain way, the more creative you do it, the better. But the more the people understand what issue you're tackling and how you're tackling it with your product, the bigger the chance that they will convert immediately. After that, you can start showing what people really want to hear from you before they buy. They typically have between seven and 10 different types of objections before they buy. Is it worth it? Is, uh, is the product good? What's the quality? Is it going to fit me? What's, what's happening in general before I purchase? Am I even going to receive the product? Because there's so many drop shippers and fake stores online that are promising a lot of things, but are actually not legit. So how do you tackle this? You have testimonials, you have social proof, you make sure that your copies are a little bit longer and you're showing both social proof and how to use the product maybe. You want to stack as many things as possible while keeping the idea as simple as possible. And that's maybe the most complex thing to do as an advertiser, but you need with many things to combine them and still be able to show to your potential buyer in five to 10 seconds, what's the issue that you're solving and how you're solving it and why they should be caring about this. Top of the funnel audiences are the most expensive audiences as they don't know you, they don't trust you and the least amount of them are going to buy from you. Yet they are the fresh traffic to your website. They are the people who 
you can start all over. If you've messed up, especially with your reputation a little bit, you can start all over with those top of funnel audiences. If you really want to be scaling up, the only way that you can scale up is if you have top of funnel audiences that are working from the get go. So your direct sales campaigns have to be as good as possible. Stack social proof, make sure that they're as legit as possible and make sure that anyone can understand your idea in the least amount of time. If you also put some scarcity elements, some fear of missing out elements in your ads and in your website, the bigger the chance that they will convert immediately. I know that this is going to turn into more of a what you do afterwards, but make sure you target the hell out of those audiences. Make sure the ones that have engaged with your ads and with your social media account in the past seven or 14 days that you advertise to them as much as possible. Make sure your middle of the funnel then is working as correctly as possible because a lot of the advertisers are just like, ah, okay, I spent a lot of money on my top of funnel audiences. They haven't converted as much as I want them and I'm just done and that's it. Yet, many of those people are going to be ready to buy tomorrow or in two days or in five days, but they're not anymore in your top of funnel audiences because they've already engaged or they've been to the website in your general remarketing saying, hey, here's a 10% discount code, is not going to do the job. They, they have other reasons why they're not buying. Most of the times, it's just because they still haven't seen the value, they still haven't seen why they need to purchase it immediately, they still don't trust you enough. And if you have different ads with the, the different elements of, and the different objections handled in those ads, they just have a way bigger chance of buying from you. That's what you need to do with your top of funnel audiences. Number one, make sure that they're really top of funnel audiences, because if you don't do this, then most of the time, the people that are going to be buying from you are not really top of audiences, because Facebook are, is going to be targeting exactly those, which is going to completely kill your scaling plans, because once you hit two, three, four, five times more budget for your top of funnel, while um, your middle and bottom of the funnel audience are generally almost the same. This will mean that you're just going to be losing your ROAS when scaling up. So you really need to, as a second thing, you really make sure that you have a right strategy for people who have no idea who you are, how to sell to them. As simple as possible with as much as possible information and triggers for them to buy immediately retarget the hell out of your audiences. Make sure the ones that have engaged in the past seven to 14 days, that you retarget them with good content, not with the same content. They don't need a 10% discount. The reason why they haven't purchased is because they still don't trust you for one reason or another. And you need to first show to them how you're solving that objection for them, how you're handling that objection to them before they actually buy from you. That's how you actually go with TOEFL. Again, there are many creative ways in terms of um, advertising, in terms of your creatives, in terms of your copies, in terms of your ad structure. And it's not just about, ah, I'm going to target those interests or I'm just going to uh, target those lookalikes. No, it's about what's your marketing message. How are you making the customer journey as short as possible and as impactful as possible that's what you need to solve. It's not just about showing your ads. It's about the way that you're acquiring that customer. The, the more complex your product is, the more a person typically needs to think about it, the more attention you need to start paying in your top of funnel, especially when you want to scale up. That's all for me for today. Uh, if you're interested in the e-commerce topic in general, make sure you watch some of our other videos on the Markademics channel. In the same Markademics channel on YouTube, you're also going to see uh, our Markademics podcast where we're discussing um, super interesting topics in the e-commerce world. The first episode was with Alex Fedotov on how to build a sellable e-commerce brand. Definitely check it out. It's full of value. And yeah, stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media. And yeah, um, I'll see you in the next videos.